Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Witches of the Moon. My name is Dia, aka Ori of OriOasis.com. And this week we are talking about um, witchy balls and mojo babies. Now, witchy balls, I don't really work with. Um, ironically, I was going to start to make some this year just for, just because I like the look of it. Witchy balls to me are, while, while they are... Um, magical in their own right to me they're more decorative which ironically as you see i like to decorate but um they're more um i like things that i can feed and to me you can't feed a witchy ball you make it you charge it and then you hang it then it's active as long as it's in sight or or as long as it's hanging and they're mostly made out of the um the clear christmas cre the clear christmas tree balls the one that you're supposed to decorate on your own anyway um to me Witchy balls are like, how do I explain it? They remind me more of like the old school blue bottles you used to hang in the backyard on a tree. Um, and you would do that for protection for different things. Uh, so to me, that's where that when I think when I see a witchy ball, that's what I think of. But anyway, witchy balls can be you can put anything in it. Um, again, they're mostly for decorative purposes, but I like things that I can hold in my hand that I can feed that I can blue life into. So for me, that would be a mojo bag, right? And the reason why I have this here, well, except for these. Well, these are actually, um, they're not mojo bags, they're dials, but you will work a dial and a mojo bag technically the same way. So I like ones that you feed. So this will actually be a mojo bag, right? This is a little one. And this one is for prosperity. And what you do is you put your herbs and your crystals, and you can put petition on it, you can write the petition on it, you can put your sigils on it. I like mostly using fabric. Um, or things that I can prep as I go. Like with the fabric, you can actually put the herbs, certain herbs and certain things, prayers, bar verses, and water, sit the fabric in the water, let it charge for a while, then take it out, let it dry. So that way the fabric is prepared and then you start working with whether you're going to write or draw sigils on the fabric and then whatever you're going to put inside of it. And the reason I'm showing this one is because mojo bags don't have to be big. They really don't. They can be as small as big as you want them. Um, this one also technically is a mojo bag. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And the reason why is, you know, not all the time, way, way, way back in the day, you wasn't always using fabric for a mojo bag. You know, you need your fabric for your clothes. So things were put together with, um, uh, mud, different types of clay, and then decorate whatever they found in nature, fabric, um, fabric and things like that. So this is technically another way of a mojo bag. So that's one. And again, like I said, I work with more mojo bags than I do um, witchy balls. I don't know why my brain just went blank. <laughs> more than witchy balls. So I don't have a witchy ball to show. This is what I have to show. Now, this, these two actually are my favorite way of making mojo bags why because they look like little dolls um the actual bag is the booty as you can imagine so the actual bag well it depends on the client sometimes the bag could be the head sometimes the bag is the booty but i like to make the bag the booty that way i can know for a fact that it'll sit the way i want it to sit and i can shape it um but yeah so you make the bag this is just showing you another way to make the bag some people don't like the look of a mojo bag they want it to look more um Less witchy, I should say, or less hoodooish, or whatever way you practice, less of that. So you make, so you just turn the bag into a nice little mojo baby doll. So this, this is technically the bag with all, all in there, and you can make a mojo bag for anything. Um, protection, love work, spell work, customize it to whatever work you're doing. But the thing is, you have to, um, you have to imbue life into it. You have to give it life. You have to feed it, feed it regularly. Um, talk to it, love it. Sometimes take it with you. This one goes in the car with me often. Sit it right on the dashboard. Add a little bit of that, um, uh, putty glue. Putty, I don't know how to say it. You know the little stuff that teachers use to tape uh, the, the stick posters on the wall? Just put a little bit on the booty. Then stick it right on the dashboard. That, that way, no matter how I'm driving or however Grizz drive, <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. So, yeah, but this one particular one has eyes. This one doesn't. This is another one of my favorite ones. She don't go out with me as often, but she does go. And basically, just I'm just showing you different ways to make mojo bag. Once the mojo bag is made, if you don't like the look of your mojo bag, you don't want it to look as um, 
And she doesn't sit up on her own too well. But if you don't like the way the mojo bag looks, you want less switchy, you can turn it into a doll. You can turn it into, you know, something like this where it look like art. Well, this one don't really look like art, but, you know. Basically, this is the way that I work with them. Um, you can make them for anything. And I'm pretty sure everybody this week will show you how to make them. If you want to know how to make these, uh, these are deck dolls. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> So, um, I could probably do a video on my other channel, my Craft of the Craft channel, to show you exactly, like, once the mojo bag is made, to show you exactly how to make these. But there are YouTube videos out there how to make these and how to do the hair. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, oh, wait, one second, one second, one second. Okay, now this one is another mojo baby. Now, the reason why I'm showing this is for my folk, um, in case they want something, you know, have more of a of a cultural feel to it. You can there are different ways you could do the hair to make it look more cultural. You know, you could fill in the gaps so the braids are closer together. You can actually have afro puffs, curls. You know, so this just is another one that I have and I wanted to show you, you know, you can really customize it to whatever fits your style as far as this one don't stay up on its own either. Um, but no, she don't, but this one I don't even worry about because I always have a candle with her. She don't go nowhere. She stays here. So she's always, this one's always next to a candle. I mean, I should put her in frame. Oh, how about that? Good enough. Okay. So I just want to show you, you know, different ways. Get creative with, um, with your witchy balls. If you don't want people to know it's a witchy ball, then pick a Christmas ball that's already colored and you can use the inside of that. Um, but be careful with the glass ones. You might want to stick. To, I, I really don't like working with plastic, but when it comes to witchy balls, you kind of, you got to be careful with the glass ones because some things is fragile when it comes to Christmas balls. <clears throat> but anyway, so that's that. Um, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to watch everybody's videos. And as always, stay blessed to be a blessing. And I'll see y'all next week. Deuces.